Hi everybody, it's Steve Sefcik from Should Have Been Engineering here. So I just uh, did a video of um, why your Concourse 14 is not a ZX14. So you're gonna watch this video. You might, if you haven't already seen the other video, then you probably want to check out the other video. But I want to talk about um, what kind of makes the Concourse 14 really special, and that's the fact that it has variable valve timing. Now, a lot of people don't understand what variable valve timing is or what it does to, to enhance the performance of an engine, although just about every gasoline engine that you buy now has some type of variable valve timing in it. Um, is that diesel? No, it's gas. That's gas, yeah. Okay. And it's sure, VVT. Yeah, and everything's VVT now. And, and you know, that's was a, a huge... A huge boon, really. I mean, to engine tuning, to, to what you can expect out of your engine. And so here's what the deal is with variable valve timing. With variable valve timing, um, what it basically does is it alters the center lines of the cam. Now, this might get a little complicated. I'm going to try to avoid that. But it, it, it alters the center lines of the camshaft relative to where the piston is. And excuse me and as a result of that you can change things like uh, your overlap period you can change things like the opening and closing points of when an intake valve opens or closes if you have a vehicle the concourse 14 is not this case but some vehicles have a uh, variable valve timing on intake and exhaust and then you really have a lot of flexibility in what you can do but the ultimate effect is of having variable valve timing is that you're um, going to be able to spread your torque out quite a bit because it kind of will act like you have a smaller cam for lower RPM and then a larger cam for high RPM, okay, or for higher RPM. Now, the fact is, is that a Concourse 14, even if you look at the cam timing separate from VBT, um, it's the cam timing is still about 15 degrees less than what the early ZX 14s were so obviously the the Concourse 14 is geared more towards lower RPM uh, certainly than the ZX 14 is but uh, that really nice flat torque curve that you're capable of getting with a you know a well-tuned uh, properly flashed Concourse 14 really comes from this little guy right here, that's the VBT module. So this is hanging on the side of the intake cam, as I said in the other video, and basically what it's doing is, inside of it, it's got some veins, and basically uh, oil gets pumped into it, and it pushes the intake cam forward, or pushes the intake cam back, relative to where you are, RPM-wise and throttle-wise, and it can actually alter the lobe center lines it is actually constantly altering the lobe center lines of the cam as compared to if the cam was just bolted into the engine like let's say a zx14 would be so that guy is kind of the magic that really is the magic that happens for a uh, concourse 14 and um you know one of the things that we're able to do in tuning these is to um change the mapping um so you know basically inside of my flash uh, not all of my flashes, but some of them I've gone back in and actually changed the mapping inside of here. And that changes the points at where the um, lobe center lines are going to be relative to throttle position and RPM. So the advantage that you can have there is, is actually you're getting more power and particularly more torque than what the, um, the stock engine is capable of, of delivering. So. Uh, you know, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'm sure there's lots of stuff on YouTube about VBT, but this really is what sets um, your engine apart from the ZX-14 or apart from the other sport tours that are out there and what really spreads um, the, the torque curve. If you go and look at a um, dyno chart for a Concourse 14, this little guy right here is the magic, okay? So, again... Steve Sefcik, Should Have Been Engineering. Uh, go to my website, shouldhavebeenengineering.com. You go to the Concourse 14 Flash, and you get a couple of pictures of this, a little bit more information about this if you're interested in that. Until next time.